right, you don't know, this is Lila Ike. And we're repping for the greatest channel, a channel of love. This is a reggae music show. Tune in, lock in, and know good music always. Cause true love, true love conquers all things. This is a reggae music show. You know. And I don't know when vinyl we play, so it's a little bit different, you know? And we must say that, yo, we appreciate just reggae music. This is why Josh and I decided to start this. You know, I want it for, for people to understand, say, outside of just being able to sing, there's a deeper reverence and appreciation for reggae music and reggae history that people of my age group might not even know about you get what i'm saying yeah. i just happened to grow up in a space where this music was always in my household we used to use violins play frisbee with my sister then pretty yeah. didn't even know say some big record may have a, you know it's so it's really a beautiful thing to be able to just gather and do them thing yeah. so josh we want another version why you give me because you know such a really bad me and i don't even tell you what one Right. One from the Queen of Reggae. One from the Queen of Reggae. Make me see what I want. the spot camera I'm sorry <laughs> this is oh no no Uncle Yellow everybody must know Uncle Yellow yeah, don't yeah, they yeah, hey, yeah, hey. Russ Yellow yes. it's a Russ Yellow grandson I'm uh, having to go to the history nice. with the camera uh. now. when I first met Uncle Yellow and his family they came to Jamaica and you know Uncle Yellow daughter bring her son 
Cameron, right? Cameron was a little baby them time there. That's why I'm walking a while ago. I said, no, I can't Cameron this girl. <laughs> the last time I saw Cameron, he probably looked like Bingy Daddy, you know? And I just remember that at the time, I hadn't put out any music yet. I was getting ready to put out my very, very first single. As anybody know that song there? Anybody can tell me my first single, get a free one world song, cassette tape. No, I no got it, got it. See there? No, let's start the real journey. The first Lila IK song that was put out ever. Nobody know? Your mama song. You know some you know some can't go on our core fans, you know. You know what I'm going on. Yeah man, but it is in fact biggest fan, yes? I wrote that song for my mother. And go on, go on, go on, sister. Cameron come to Jamaica now, Uncle Yellow we are still on a nice resort down on the grill. Uh, Me and Cameron did a whole of vibes and Cameron is like, you an artist, yeah? <laughs> you know who go tell Cameron say me a singer. <laughs> and listen to me. All me know say for the entire time I was at the spot in the grill with Uncle Yellow. A one song player the people in the resort. Every morning Cameron get up and go to them. Put on this song. <laughs> so, I can't run first, really and truly start supporting us on this. I make some nice with Cameron. Oh, 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 what are they now, Josh? You see why not the mystics here now? Josh just a free rain for me. All right, then, Bricks and Town. Let's see what's going on now. <laughs> sound system welcome to one of the first well this is the first world sound vinyl party actually thank you guys for coming again and naturally me and josh we take with music extremely extremely serious and we deal with this with reverence and if you're the right in other shop here right now it means that you yourself also appreciate the core that is reggae music before we have spotify and apple and streaming and all yeah, of these yeah, things yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Walk to our record store, skip through the box, and buy yourself a record and go home and feel nice. We go put it by your turntable. Me never do that, you know. I watch, I watch. I, watch. I, watch. I, watch. I know, I study, I study the music. And through looking and looking back, you know, we utilize the internet and we watch all the documentaries mm -hmm. and study the thing. You get what I say? 
and just develop a certain level of appreciation for it. Me yeah. come in when I see the around things. You saw my little walk man. You <laughs> give me some head set over the palm head is not a lie, me I tell you no. Yeah. But when I realized that there was a deeper and a further aspect of reggae music that for me it's just important that my generation keep that alive and it doesn't yeah, matter yeah. what we want to hear with sample or whatever other sounds you might hear Leela Ike sing something that sound I like when you listen to solitude solitude is not core reggae but it's soul and neo soul and other yeah. aspect of music yeah. and I appreciate yeah. but when you hear that song that you hear a Jamaican girl I deal with it, don't it? So for me it's very important that we keep that energy alive. Yeah. And I also want to ensure say, my peers, my following, everybody that supports Leela Ike music understands say, the reason you have a Leela Ike is because I love this music for real. So naturally me and Josh you put two of my song them on vinyls, two of the versions, Double right? Dog plates. We have thy will and where I'm coming from. Big up Josh, Josh teach me a lot as well. Make some nice for Josh yeah. you know, I know people see me apart with a white DJ. Just, you know, me just be as honest as possible. But me not see color, you get me, me see love yeah. and appreciation. But this, when we meet Josh, I don't think I've ever come across another young person like myself that know reggae music, history, and also appreciate this music with reverence. So right now, naturally, they said they don't play it. Thy will, yeah, freshly printed, yeah, freshly pressed. However, oh, what a little vibe. I'm not know that one, you know, so we can all. Oh, no, but he's a little youth and dark. Nish and sweet, it a bit so bizarre. And it is, look at them, your mind's got the star. So go, bleach it down, and it's a get too far. Worship possession as a house and car. Oh, we're not going to run down, we've got so far. I say, oh, my, yes. from the grassroots, it tests your capabilities as an artist. Cause you can't pull up and buy any like the same chant. You know, do this you know, forward, you just have to present the music. And that's what I appreciate about this aspect of the music. You get what I'm saying? Now, before we get into the last song, we're going to sing tonight, Josh, right? Are you, are you thinking this bingy? Yes, 
Pick up yourself, big up Bingy who's, you know, Get nice to meet you. Bingy ah, told me we have vibes up on the real guys. <laughs> Up on his own, you know? Blessings and light, and Anna. You. you don't know being your love. So, Josh, what the one of one vinyl have there? Because we have to make a know about this now. This time last year, I was in Japan. We will probably just have completed the tour, right? I went to Japan for the first time, and that was the very first tour that World Sound did. It was me and Josh, Power World Sound. We go to Japan, beautiful energy, and if you know sound system culture, you know so Japan loves sound system. That's where some of the biggest sound systems outside of Jamaica exist. You get what I'm saying? So being there for us was a very special moment, a real appreciation, and also it's always an honor to just go and see that, okay, there are people out in the world with, a, with far, far east, when I know nothing, both the language I may speak, but they are able to feel the music in their heart. And to me, that's a very special thing. And when I went there, the people in be with me like a queen. Mm -hmm. And now I so big up Japan. So naturally, I'm very, I'm a very sentimental person. And when I say I love the music, I love the music for real. Because I always think about what if when Garnet Silk was alive, you know, he had like a record of him when he first go Japan, the entire show. Me da hunt down the entire world for find that, right? I mean, I pay any amount of money for it. So naturally, you know, I decided that when we did our last show there, I met this band in Japan called the, the, the Homegrown Band. Let me tell you, I've never seen these people until these people until the night before the show. And when I went to the rehearsal, I hear when them roll off the rhythm, them me have say, no, look at that. That's appreciation, that's love for the music. I've never seen them before. All we do is send them the song and say, well, this is what we're planning to do. And so we recorded that entire show and to how amazing it sounds, to how special it is to me, we decided to do a one of one. There's only one of this that exists, right? A one of one vinyl that we are put up for auction for any Leela Ike fan who have followed the journey, who have followed world sound beautiful and then the thing about this vinyl as well physically it's like it's extremely clear, it's beautiful a it's a clear 12 inch yeah. right and just can feel you in and how this 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 vinyl was made you get me you know you don't like chat the mic we have a good time yeah so basically this is leela's first live band show in japan cut at um 33 revolutions per minute live doublet basically and we'll play vinyl there's one in the world yeah. Yeah. yeah man, so you know we decided to just oh, yeah. have and that the, pan and vinyl the cover, and the cover is also made designs, yeah. hand painted by where where she live again? Um Milton King, something like that. Yeah. Yes, or somebody hand painted the, the, the cover as well. Trust me, to be honest, I'm not eager to sell this, so you have to come with a great bid for me, really say so yeah. So you know, this is available. We're going to do like a little auction and just, you know, and going forward, that's going to be something that we do on the world sound. Every time there's a special event, you know, the, the next set of world dances, we recorded the entire world dance the other night. So yeah, you hear me, I toast the mic, yeah, you hear the people in the crowd, everything, just taking people back to a time when live music, live energy was really a special thing. That will also be on a one-of-one -one vinyl as well. So... You know, we're building and we're creating and we're just being ourselves and enjoying what we do. And it's a very special journey. You got the so, dubs as well. we have some dubs as well, which I'm going to have you play after we do this performance here. Right? So, right now, this is where I'm coming from, from Plate, in a Lion Vibes record shop. Yes? So you see that song, you know what that song, you really and truly open up Leela Ike to the world. When we say work, no, I like them effects that they put my voice. Uh, put them up. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. You're about the sound, the sound system. I was right now. <laughs> you know, you know, this is where people really start recognizing what we've been doing. If you're coming at where I'm coming from, welcome. But we're there from Biggie's fan, yes? So we are say. Right now, I just want to take this moment to encourage everybody that's here. No matter where you're there in life, you could be starting at below zero. You could have started at 10 and 1, get to 20. 
and aim for go hundred wherever you are, there's always a next level. And if you really and truly set your heart on it, you can do anything. You can be anything you want to be. You want to be a dancer, you want to be a singer, you want to be an architect, you want to build planes. I'm telling you right now, you, it's everything is within you and within your heart. So never forget that. And just believe in on yourself. And this song is basically a reminder to myself that no matter what happens in Lila Ike career, me not ever forget grassroots. Me not ever forget the first time me come a Lion Vibes record shop. All of these moments that we're experiencing now, me just watch the Bob Marley movie and I can cry tears. That's somebody's story that inspired the world. There are real people that was a part of that story that can watch it back. Imagine Marcia Griffiths and Judy Mawata watch back that and I say, remember gang, you know, man? Mm. Trust me, we have to really appreciate the present. And so as we sing this one together, and after that, we're going to make Josh play some more vinyls that we have, some Lila IK exclusive dub plates that we do for the sound. And we're going to just come and meet some people. We're we'll going to buy the merch area if you're interested in getting some stuff. I really appreciate that. So we sing this one together, yes? Kick it off for me, the Josh Skins. I think I'm where I'm coming from, you know? <laughs> Let's go. In a vinyl style. I see some Lila Oh God, she is Time for me for the blessings And I'm falling on my table Learning my lessons Now I'm willing and I'm able To be just what I can As humble as I love Working hard to go And we give thanks for helping her this Friday. Yes? Yes, yes? And this song is with a legend. Yeah? A legend in a reggae music. Somebody that contributed so greatly to this music. So we, we don't have the one that provide me yet. So I'm going to hop back for you know, the next and play this one. This is Lila Ike alongside a man named Aynika Mosey in a beautiful style. A song named I Want You. Music video, song is out everywhere this Friday, April the 5th. Kick it up, Jazz. Sound, sound is gonna go south. Wicked sound, and you really lost one. 
Oh, 